Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I am a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working in my studio, going out and getting art supplies and sharing my haul with you, visiting art exhibitions, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. Today, I am heading up to Dia Beacon. I have been there multiple times over the years, but the last time I visited was in 2018. So I am due for another visit. I'm very excited. They have a lot of large sculptures um, and installations and um, it should be beautiful. We have a beautiful fall day for it. So I'm very excited, um, but it's about an hour drive. So my mother is here <laughs> to babysit the dog for the day and yeah, me and my husband are gonna go up and, and just enjoy, enjoy Beacon, enjoy the day. So I hope you guys enjoy coming along with us. Let's go. Definitely not, or you're an artist that is really careless. I mean, but like, you know, you're, it helps, it's your process. You appreciate the art. You can't just go in like. Do you think drinking coffee helps you appreciate art? I think so. <laughs> I may not know anything about art, but. You know about coffee? I, I know that I might sip and stare at something a little longer and look at the coloring and the context of things. <laughs> You mean the composition? That as well, in addition to the context. <laughs> We've made it to Dia Beacon. Let's go in and see some art. So when you come in, you get one of these and then you clip it.
just telling Andre coming in here makes me want to work large, <laughs> like make large pieces, but I wouldn't be able to get it out of my studio door. <laughs> The color. I like it a lot. It's quite easy to get lost in here, <laughs> even though it's like this big open space. There's just so many rooms. It's really beautiful though. So these ones, are they hard to understand? Yes, I don't know if the artist is completely done. It looks like they're primed, ready to get started on. I would love to just take a <laughs> go across. Like, I want to draw on that. I want to draw on that. Like, it just looks like the surfaces are ready to be worked on. <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. I'm looking. We're trying to figure out what the deal is with these. Okay. I'm not familiar with this artist, so... He observed there's never a question of what to paint, but only how to paint. So the intent of these is to show how to technically paint and doing that repetitive motion. So maybe all of these are really meant to look alike. So if you get up close and look at the brush strokes and you try to tell the difference, they're all matching. It's just replicating getting, them. Getting the paint across, I mean, literally getting the paint across the surface, but also more idiomatically getting the idea of the painting across to the viewer. What is done with the paint is the essence of all painting. What painting is, is exactly what people see. That is the intention of these. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments, <laughs> how you I, feel about this. I see that he's not ready. It's easier, <laughs> it still needs to be painted on there. It makes me think about painting your house, as <laughs> silly as that is, like to make it look really consistent across <laughs> rooms. <laughs> But, I don't know, it's interesting. It's obviously super conceptual. It's called home renovation. Home renovation. If anybody has their home turned, really understand what the process is like. <laughs> this is your favorite piece? Yeah, it's called I Need a Broom. <laughs> I Need a Broom. <laughs> Andre's favorite piece <laughs> called I Need a Broom. <laughs> I Need a Broom too. I Need a Broom too. <laughs> it's like not even glass. It's like really it's like actually, soft. It's sugar? Yeah, it's, or it's just really soft. <laughs> like, yeah, it just, it seems dangerous, but that's probably what it's about. I heard this was like the only edible display you can have. Do you want to try it? <laughs>
Got some Dan Flavins here. I like how there's specifically a sign next to the Dan Flavins that say, you can't take your mask off. <laughs> yeah, this one's beautiful. Something about it's very satisfying. Yeah, you can actually feel the heat coming off of these if you get close enough. Beautiful though. More Dan Flavin. Andre thinks this is a secret passage to somewhere. It's what if video games have taught me anything. <laughs> it's that you push push that brick. You see the dark one? Yeah, you push bad. that and then the whole thing opens. <laughs> and then there's treasure. More art on the other side. <laughs> This room so you have this glass border right you can go up to it and there's just these holes in the ground that you can't even see inside of like how deep is that I don't know I can't see from here can't see it from there you can't see the bottom even if you're on your tippy toes yeah. throw your phone in there <laughs> and say, excuse me, I'm throwing my phone in I here. I seem to have lost my phone. Tell me. Get closer. Get close. Oh yeah, there's a close edge there. If you're adventurous enough and make it to the end here, you can take a look. Let's see. You can see the bottom? That's how. There's more than one? Oh my god. And then I can't... Can you see the bottom of that one? Yes, you can. But... It looks like it would hurt. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. It's a very put the lotion in the basket kind of vibe though, right? <laughs> <laughs> put the lotion in the basket. I want to know if it's the same depth down, like right? Like, so this one is... Yeah, is there yeah, a, another circle in that circle? Yeah. Right. Or just even here, because you can see the second layer down, and it's like, is this deeper than the first layer? Right. I want to know, is there a second layer, how there's a second one here in yeah, those? Any other ones, yes. So he uh, developed the concept of negative sculpture, where his sculpture, north, east, south, and west, was conceived as a series of four geometric pits. So no, he's not building something up, he's going into the ground. Mm. Interesting. Negative sculpture. Didn't know it was a thing, now you know. Well, for me, it doesn't feel like negative sculpture because he's still created things and they're placed into the ground. Mm. I get that it feels negative in the space it's taking up, but the act that he physically made something doesn't make it negative to me. I don't know. Solowit here. So something that really bothered me about Solowit when I was in college is that he felt like more of an architect to me rather than an artist because he would draw plans for these and then he would have a crew of people to execute it. So he would not actually make this stuff by hand. But what it means is that even in his death, people still have these plans. So if the foundation, the Solowit Foundation, wants to show one of his pieces, they just give them the blueprint for it and then they can make it on site. I don't know. It bothered me a lot in college that he was more of an idea man than an executor because I thought as an artist, you had to make your work yourself. But um, I think I understand it more now. Mm. And I think it's interesting, like I said, that even though he's not here anymore, his work can still be made even though he's not here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that's interesting. He's a real paint-by-number kind of person. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. in a way, yeah. I mean, they're, once again, very mathematical, his approach. Like, if you see the, the blueprints for it, they're very exact. Another thing that's interesting about this museum to me is that the materials used in the museum are so industrial, and then a lot of the sculptures are also very industrial. 
So you might look at something like a door or a closet and think that could technically be a piece here. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends how conceptual you want to get with it. Okay, let's go upstairs. I'm going to get scared. Hold, hold my hand tight because <laughs> I'm scared by this piece. This, this is the scariest. Oh God, this is nightmare fuel. <laughs> like I'm like I'm getting goosebumps right now. In case you didn't know, I'm extremely arachnophobic. <laughs> so her sculptures really freak me out. But the spider is I can't even talk. The spider is meant to symbolize her mother in her work. Because she thinks spiders are very motherly, but oh it creeps me out. <laughs> It scares me a lot. I think this is actually the closest I've ever gotten up to one because I've always been too scared. So, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's weird to be scared of it because obviously it's not real, but. Is it? It's <laughs> real to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know, it, it creeps me out. This is definitely like number one spookiest art piece ever. <laughs> God, still up the heebie-jeebies. It's so... Ugh, ugh. Beacon because of the large scale Richard Serra's that they have here that you can walk amongst and walk into. Like here, we're about to enter. Go ahead, Andre.
okay, we are gonna head out now. Maybe look around the grounds and then go get something to eat. Are you hungry? I'm hungry, it's time to eat. It's time to eat, let's go. <laughs> One guy is one topping, one drizzle. Very, um, sprinkles, sprinkles, and vanilla. Okay. What are you doing? The peanut butter, Oreo crumbs, and I don't know. Grape jelly. <laughs> Maybe chocolate. Okay. This looks yummy. Yeah. Fresh donuts. Yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh! Hello, <laughs> Jerry. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so that's us done. We had a lovely afternoon filled with yummy food and got some shopping done <laughs> and got random stuff from that raffle in the street. It was fun. Anyway, we are going to head home now, but if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more art content, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye. Bye, everybody.